Okay, so this is a new video, um, again based on magnetism, and it's entitled The Magnetome Project, How DNA is Patterned by Magnetism, and North and it's showing the uh, the flow of north and south magnetic currents in the human body. So, what I have here is my little man, or woman, or whatever, and what you can see is there's north and south polarities all throughout the human body, along of magnetism, magnetic polarities. Uh, around the head, arms, torso, legs, feet, hands, etc. And all I'm going to do is illustrate the through this um, how DNA is patterned by magnetism, and why the and, and why the magnetome project is more important than the genome project and uh, just give an idea of the general pattern of the uh, magnetic current flows that shape, pattern, and form the uh, human body as well as presumably everything else in nature. So um, this is just a different uh, perspective of magnetism based on a uh, philosophical perspective of pan-magnetism, i.e. that all is magnetic and that there are no non-magnetic materials so let's just get right down to it and we'll start at the head and I will try to draw this correctly so So now what you see is what I've done is I've just done the first, um, actually I may have done part of that incorrectly, but any, or no, no, that's correct. I've done the first north line, which as you see, the, the polarities alternate from left to right. So there's a, an alternation of north-south magnetic polarities left to right in the human body. and probably in all structures and this may explain why you know observing these these uh, patterns might be you know not as easy as it would seem so let's go on to the next step uh, Okay, so I may not have gotten these lines perfect, but you can see that I'm just doing one line just to illustrate the actual path of flow and how it's not that the magnetic polarity is altering, it's that the magnetic polarities are altered or they're they're all they're on left and right, and so the flow of magnetic current goes from left to right. So the polarities, I think, pretty much remain the same, but the magnetic flow goes from left to right across the body. So um, let me, I need to finish the north, the, just the first line, and then I'll try to flesh it out. And so now you see, you can see these these first, the first north kind of line, and I still need to do one of the arms. Let's see.
And I, you know, one thing I want to acknowledge is, as I do with most or all of my videos, this may not be a final or complete or 100% accurate perspective of how magnetism occurs in the human body. But the more you look at it and the more you think about it, the more this kind of perspective illustrates exactly how um, how magnetism can work in the human body to structure it and why it could be the explanation for the pattern of uh, how DNA is patterned and structured. So I'm going to go ahead and do the south and then I'm just going to flesh it all out. One thing you can see here too that the magnetic pattern sometimes has to jump and especially around the shoulders this might be why our shoulders are a little more rounded because the magnetic current has to jump go around not through the neck but around this way and actually round out that those structures. So this is the south pole that I'm doing. I already did the north pole and I just have to just get the rough thing done and then I can follow the lines and, and give a sense of how this works. Or at least this is, the, this is how it works and then try to detail it out. Let's see. Now one one thing I want to acknowledge too is I may be the the positioning of the poles may be incorrect. I may not have the correct north south positioning of the poles, but I just wanted to go through the process and and just illustrate it so that my thinking on it at this point in time about how it works, how it might work or does work could be completely clearly visualized for um, you know artistic types or 3d modelers or you know anybody please you know can you help work on this this is much more important than the genome project so uh, can we get on it and just kind of let's move it forward this we could complete this thing as a 3d with 3D models and practical applications in a very short time with all the resources we have on the internet and with technology. And there, are, there can be no governmental interferences. So, you know, this we need to use these opportunities fully to collaborate and communicate to resolve these questions that, um, for philosophical reasons, people have not been clear to clear about for religious reasons, as well as the scientific uh, groups, they haven't understood these things correctly either. And of course, there may be other nefarious aspects of it, groups that actually intentionally do everything they can to hide or subvert any kind of genuine exploration of these kinds of knowledge. And that's a whole nother question. But um, I don't really care about any of that. I care about the capacity to be able to heal the human body by really understanding the forces that pattern and shape it. And I want to understand how to utilize magnetism uh, for powering our industry so um, and technology. So I don't really care about any of those other considerations. So now I'm just going to try to um, now that you see how this basically works, you have these alternating, um, you know, I'll just put another little drawing on here. You have this alternating from, you know, right, alternating from, you know, right to left or left to right of the magnetic um, polarities. So you have 
you know, north, south, south, north, etc. And this is how the magnetic currents um, actually flow. And how you can flesh it out is you can then just kind of do like this. So you got like this. Let's see here. And then you have the south. And now you can see very clearly what I'm getting at. This is how we are patterned and structured. It's that simple. That's my assertion. That this is how we're patterned and structured. And... Uh, And that's what it is. So, and again, I may not be getting the the correct kind of perspective of it here, but but you see that that there's this flowing of magnetic currents going both ways, and it's probably it's going to be much more mathematically precise than what I'm doing. Um, there's no question about that. But you can see that... You can see right here that you can actually map out the human being magnetically and mathematically by mapping out these alternating left, right, north, south magnetic currents in the human body and map out the whole pattern, the whole structure and how the whole body is stitched together by magnetic currents from the head to the toes to the fingers and, and also Here's your D, you know, how do you, how does the DNA double helix work? What about bilateral symmetry and all the rest? Well, here you go. So. So I think I'll end the video right here and just say that I'm going to probably finish this drawing, but my point is to show the basic pattern so that others can be on the same page and actually think about these things correctly and work in the same directions. So that's about it. Thanks. Bye.